Aloha. This is my C8 Corvette high wing spoiler that I painted torch red with two carbon flash stripes on it to match my car. Well, I made a couple of mistakes. When I decided to put clear coat on it, I decided to use a spot clear that dries very, very quickly. When I put the first coat on, I realized my second mistake, I didn't put fisheye additive in it. My third mistake was since it was dry and it wasn't flowing property, properly to get a clear uh, gloss finish, I decided to put on some heavy coats to bury the fish eyes and that resulted in sags, drips, and runs. As you can see here, I've already started the process with my nib tools and my fest tools of making the surface flat. On this side, you can see the spots where I took a touch-up brush and added clear coat to fill the fish eyes. Here are some of the products that I'm using for my heavy paint correction. I have two what's called nib files. Uh, they're very sharp, very flat steel files for taking out things like a fly dropped in your paint or a drip from your gun on the paint. Then over here I have a what's called a fest tool. It's about the size of a quarter. It's very sharp um, and it's made of carbon steel. It's very, very hard. If you drop it, it will break into a million pieces. It's about the size of a quarter. I then have my electric buffer polisher. I have a handheld buffer polisher. I have the different pads that I'm gonna use. I have heavy duty uh, rubbing compound. I have machine glaze rubbing compound. Here is my touch up brush and my clear lacquer. Again, this only works on lacquer because it's a very fast drying hard paint. Over here I have my wet dry sandpaper. I'm going to block sand it with a hard rubber block and I'm going to get progressively finer sandpaper. I'm gonna start with 600, move to 800, then 1200, 1500, and finally 2000 before I start buffing. And be sure not to go through the clear coat that's on the spoiler already. So please read the description attached to this video it explains everything. Again, this is part one of part two. Aloha and stay safe.